Hello everybody and welcome to the Designer's Recourse. Today we're going to be talking about the absolute simplest kind of way to pause a game in Unreal Engine 5. So without any further ado, we're going to just get straight into things. I am going to be using a project that I am currently working on for this. So this is our save station where we're going to be spawning in at. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to whatever blueprint is running all of your game input. In my case, I use my first person character blueprint to achieve this, so we're already open there. And uh, I'm gonna wanna start with an input action of some sort. In this case, I'm using the game menu input action, but of course you could bind this to anything. And just a reminder, those bindings you set up in project settings, uh, and you just scroll on down to input, right? And this is where you could add a new binding or something along those lines. Okay, getting back to our blueprint. So I'm using game menu, which I need to rename to pause, but eh, you know, again, that would require me to do something. So when you press game menu, it's pressed. First thing we want to do is find out if the game is paused. And to get this Boolean, you just right click out here and say, is game paused? Well, you have to spell it correctly. But is game paused? You get that, you plug it in. You could use a flip flop note to do this, but uh, I, uh, I despise change. So I do it this way. If, uh, the game is not paused. Right? So we're looking at with false here. If it's not paused, then I'm going to set game pause. And again, that is easy as right clicking out here and finding set game paused. I set it paused. If it already is paused, then I set it not paused. The rest of this out here is just to create widgets. So if I'm pausing the game, I create a game paused widget that I have created. Uh, I add that to the viewport. And if I'm unpausing the game, then I get all the widgets of that class. I do a for each and I remove each one of them. Alternatively, since there's always only ever gonna be one on the screen, I could just get the zero index of this array and remove it from the parent. But one way or the other, it would work. So looking at this, you're probably like, awesome, everything is gonna work just the way it ought. Well, that is where the issues begin to come in and uh, that is kind of what I want us to look at. So if I was to go ahead and run this project right now, uh, first of all, just set a little context, just so you, you know, like I said, this is the absolute simplest way to do it. You might be saying, well, what if I want to pause in my game menu? Well, you certainly could do, you could achieve that and you should but see how you could achieve that with what you're going to learn today. But in my case, I don't actually want that to happen because it's that kind of game where I want the possibility of something to come and get you while you are in the game menu. So, um, instead I just have a pause button that you hit and boom, the game is paused. Now, it'd be very easy at this point to congratulate yourself and be like, ah, there we go. But you're going to immediately notice some issues. Number one, if I hit the pause key again, I can't unpause because the game is completely paused and it's no longer reading that input. But something else interesting that tends to happen, and it's not happening right now. And of course, that's what it would do is it would not be happening right now. Uh, and it may be because I'm not using a game controller, but... Uh, you can actually pause the game and in some setting, and like I said, it must be with a game controller because I know I've run into the bug there. Uh, you'll actually continue to be able to rotate your camera. And it is exceptionally, exceptionally annoying. And I would plug in my game controller, but all my USB ports are extinguished at the moment. So uh, you'll have to take my word for it on this one, but it can be an issue. So I'm going to show you the kind of overkill, kill it with fire method that I use to make sure none of this happens. So we've got two issues that we need to address or possibly need to address. And like I said, apparently one of them is related in particular to using a gamepad. But I'll show you what I do to avoid all this kind of stuff. First of all, there's a really easy fix. So in this input action, when you click on it, right, contextual menu, blah, 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 contextual menu, got to learn to talk, comes up over here. Uh, and you can click on this, execute when paused, which does exactly what it sounds like. When the game is paused, this will still execute. So that fixes problem number one. When we hit our pause key now, it is gonna unpause. We'll see that in a moment. But I'll tell you something else that I do. So like I said, I drive all my input through my first person character. So I set up a, uh, a integer variable called input mode. And uh, the first thing I actually do is, and this is just my own little check, I don't want the uh, player to be able to pause while they're in that menu. Uh, that I showed you earlier. Um, and so I check, am I in input mode number one, which is the menu mode? And as long as I'm not in that in menu mode, then I'm gonna allow you to pause the game. Uh, and then the next thing that I do, 
um, is, ah, uh, yeah, I got a lot actually that's going on here. But you basically set up an input mode variable that is going to be able to be used to put us into different input modes where you can turn off certain kinds of input. And there are all sorts of ways that you could achieve this. I do it with my own kind of little hack system here because it's just generally the way I do things. I'm going to drag this code in and then kind of walk you through uh, what is going on. So in my case, my player character is actually able to go through quite a few different modes of input because I have all these different things that I try to achieve in the game. So I also set up a backup input mode uh, variable. And when we pause the game, I find out what my current input mode is and I, and I back up. So I know, okay, so this is the kind of input I, mode I was in. And then I set my input mode to this random number, which is 9564, uh, which basically turns off all input to the player character other than commands like these that don't check what input mode you are currently in. Then I create my widget. When I unpause, I then uh, set my input mode back up to whatever it was before I pause. That's what I'm doing here with this code. And again, that has to do with the fact that I have a lot of different input modes it can be in. So you may not fix it in exactly the same way. So why do I do all of that? Well, as I mentioned earlier, uh, and I go ahead and do it with mouse input as well, but we'll look at gamepad input. Uh, and it may be because of something that I am doing wrong, but I, I cannot see what it would be. When I use the gamepad controller, even when it's paused, it still reads the input, uh, not from my buttons, but from my directional uh, sticks here, right? Well, that's actually the V-pad. I don't, I can't see what I'm doing. Uh, and so you can actually move your camera around while it is paused, which is frankly incredibly annoying. So with my turn rate, right, on my gamepad input, I check my input mode variable that I have. And I use a switch on int to achieve this. And if my input mode is in input mode zero, which is the movement input mode, then I actually go ahead and uh, run everything. And uh, by the way, if you're looking at this blueprint and saying, Daniel, it's a mess. Oh, you've just no idea. It's bad. Uh, but, you know, ain't no code like spaghetti code. Uh, so that is kind of how I solve this. So if I was to compile and save right now, and I were to run this, what you'll see is that all of my issues are resolved. If I hit delete, I can now pause and unpause. And like I said, you were not able to see, which I apologize for that, uh, the issue that can come up. But I'm telling you, it does with gamepad input. Uh, you can end up with your camera still moving around even while it's paused. And uh, I'm sure there, by the way, let me just say in closing, I'm sure there's a better way to fix this than the way that I fixed it. But I'm kind of the duct tape kind of guy where it's like, look, I can't figure out what the problem is. And if this works, then I'm going to do it. So I just want to share some of that knowledge with you. I hope it can be helpful. Hey, make sure while you're here to subscribe, the Designer's Recourse new video every week, uh, helping you learn how to use Unreal Engine 5. See you next time.